so the other thing you'll notice too is right here it says 17 that's how many in uh, comments and reactions <laughs>
it needs access to be able to take screenshots and things like that so you just go ahead and approve it I'm click on this it says right here read and change all your data on all websites that's just normal it's because it needs to do screenshots so you just say add extension and then it's installed in your browser it shows up right here right and if you just close that you'll notice right here it's gone right but you just go to the little puzzle piece right here and then you can just activate it now I have two of them because I've got the debug version that I'm working on uh, which is, can, is the next release I'm working on and the one that you're probably going to have access to when you see this video because I'll be uploading it soon but anyway so that's why there's two there but you won't you will only have one right so I'm going to remove it because I want to show you the the one that I'm using which has extra um features so if I go back uh that's one one way so you know when you first install the extension it'll be in here right you'll be like how do I you know how do I use this so you click on this to use the extension and it'll come up here here and it'll say oh so I'm already logged in so I'm gonna just actually let's I'm gonna start from scratch here um, so this is just what I would what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go in here which you don't need to worry about manage extensions I'll just remove it because I want to start fresh so you see what it looks like when you first set it up so the first thing that'll happen is when you install the extension uh you're not going to do see this uh, but uh, I'll just do it because I need to do it this way I'm just going to go like this okay so you're going to have the extension show up right here and it's going to tell you what it is and you can also see it up here if I click on active group users right there it'll tell me welcome right welcome activate your account so step number one you got to activate your account so that's the you know you need an account because the extension needs to save your data so you can actually track things if it doesn't save your data you wouldn't be able to track anything right so this is how it works you just click on this takes you to the website to activate your account you just put in your email address here I'm going to put test uh, cis uh, let's say five and a password and then I'm just going to do this so you basically put in your e well obviously your real email address here that you want to use you click on register and it'll it'll uh, get, tell you that it sent an email to activate the account right so I'm just going to pause the video go back and I'll show you what that email looks like all right so there you go so you're going to get an email like this it basically says account activation on active group users and it's going to say you know you or someone else requested an account and if you did not you can just ignore this email <coughs> as activation will link it will expire in two days or you may let us know to delete this account however if you did request it you're a simple step away from having access so just click this link to activate the account right so you just click on this link <coughs> and that will activate the account it'll tell you successfully activated and then you just can click this to close this and then there's l little things you can do obviously you want to continue the setup your extension by just clicking on this over here uh, you can read through or click on the other ones if you want but basically let's just do that first so we finish the setup of the extension right so we go here takes us to the actual extension next step it tells you right here where the next steps are right so click on the extension puzzle piece in top right in google chrome or the browser pin the active group users extension to the top bar click the extension for con to continue setup and then cl finally click next button to add your first facebook group so note that you can always click the extension icon again if the window goes away to continue setup watch below to see how to do these steps right so there's a little video kind of like well it's a, a gif a gif that kind of shows you the steps so if we look at it we can see what it's, it's telling you to do you know first go up there click that little icon then you're going to see the extension here click it and so anyways we're just going to do that right so the extension what it's saying is go to the puzzle piece click the puzzle piece you're going to see active group users is right there so we're actually going to pin it by using this little pin here so that it's always visible in the top bar so if I click this and I click the x here you can see now it's right there in the extension bar so now I can click the extension icon and it tells me right here yay you're set up with you know whatever the email is that you you, you used uh, you could click on change to change it but obviously you don't need to you just click on next right here and then over here you got to put your first Facebook group now if you didn't 
if you don't already have a Facebook you know tab open you can click on this to go to Facebook groups that'll open up the Facebook groups feed where you can choose whatever group you want to um, scrape to find users in right so what it does is it'll go in that group and it'll find the users that are actually posting and commenting in the group so I can just take this group here it's a group I'm already in right so these are groups that you're a part of it's not you don't have to be an admin you could be but it's basically groups that you are in that you're trying to find potential leads in those groups people that are in your target market people that are interested in the stuff that you have to sell right so they would be in the groups that make sense for you right so you're highly targeted groups so you don't choose any groups you choose groups of the uh that your avatar that your target market would be interested to be in and groups that people actually engage in right so there's so many groups on Facebook it's ridiculous but right here now we're in this group now I could come up here I could copy the group and all that stuff and everything but you don't need to do that with AGU or with active group users you just go to the group and then you click on the icon again and it'll automatically have your group right there and then you can just click on finish right there right so now it's going to load the extension uh, view it's going to give you the group right here you click on add and there you go now you have your group in your list of uh, of groups you can add more groups right I mean um you can you can add more groups and uh, and just go and put another group here you can if you want you can go back to your um, to your group list right here and you can scroll through your group feed this is the same group uh, my genius leads is another group I'm in right so let's just if I go in here I can actually go and add this here and I can add the group in here as well you see how it adds it right there and you can just click on add and then automatically now you could cut and paste if you want to put it in the document put all the groups you want because you know it's kind of annoying to have to because every time you click on another uh, on the page the the extension icon goes away you got to reopen it by clicking it again and that takes you know a few seconds because it's got to go back to the server come back and so it's kind of you know slower right so you can see right here that the default free account at least the trial account gives you up to 15 groups basically the what the we call the gold account if I click on the plans right here you can see the different plans right so you're on a gold plan during your free trial which expires in 13 days you're going to see you have 13 well 14 days well it says in, in 13 days because it's you know already 15 minutes in right so you have 14 days to use this software to find out whether it's something that you think is of value and then whenever the plan is over you go back to the free plan which just has a single group less posts and things like that um, but also uh, you can always upgrade to one of the other plans if you think that you know five groups is enough maybe you just go for the silver plan but anyways the point is that you it'll go uh, it'll be the goal plan for at least 14 days right okay so now the other thing if I go back to home here you can see that I have my two groups and the way that it works is that you click this start button to have it start to do the scraping for you so what the idea here is a scrape is it going to the group to find out who is coming like if I look at this group right here I can see Sig Sigrid uh commented here uh Paula and then there's uh, comment people that commented right Zach and Mar Maria here and then you see comments from Stacy and so basically what and Bo right there so what 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 active group users are going to do is going to go and grab the names of these people and their links so you don't have to like say I wanted to you know to, uh, connect with Jane here I would go here I would click on her name it would load up the group profile right so so it shows me what she did in this group I have to click on view profile to actually go to her real profile right and you can so if I want to engage on some of her posts or see what she's about I have to go through this whole process and then and then you know who knows if I'll remember that I visited Jane's profile and commented on her stuff or not you know in a, in a month from now I'm not going to remember that so that's what active group users does it remembers those things it remembers what you did and you can track that as part of the way the software works so but the thing is that the first thing it does if you click on the icon here and you click on the 
start right there right it'll start the scraping process now before I do that and show you what that means I also want to show you another thing that you you're going to definitely want to do is there's a scheduling option so that it does it for you every you know at night while you're not using your computer because the thing is that this is a browser extension which means that your browser whenever you run it is in use by the extension and if you interact with your browser at the same time you might mess things up you might m make the extension lose where it's at and things like that right and even stop uh going if you actually click the stop button when it's running right so that's that's the gist of it right so the extension has its own um you know it's it's it has to have its own browser window and everything so it's so so it can do what it needs to do so I'll show you how to start it in a second but let's go to the options right here so under options there is a schedule option by default it's not on but what you want to do is set an hour and minute in 24 hour format right so 20 hour format which means if you want to do it at 11 p.m you would put 23 colon zero zero right there that would mean 11 p.m right and then you have to enable the schedule you see right here it's saying it's sent it <coughs> setting it right so if I have to enable the schedule I click on that and that'll turn on the schedule right so once the schedule is turned on what will happen is it'll automatically run a scrape tonight if you um if if, if you're you leave your computer on right so that's the other thing you got to have your computer on um so that it will run right okay so what else all right so now you've got your setup um there's a speed here that can change the speed if you want but I wouldn't recommend changing it um and there's different things like the normal pop-up the size of the window debugging things like that there's all these things that you probably don't need to touch so just the schedule is all you need so now if I go home and, and I can wait for it to run tonight but let's just run it to show you what it does so that you can get an idea I'm just going to click on start so basically what it does you see it opens up a new window right here a small window now we can resize it if we want you can kind of resize it so the first thing it does is goes to your profile to figure out your uh, Facebook ID and that's different than your profile ID it's something that's internal to Facebook but it's needed during the process so you'll see it in a second where it'll it'll like click on this thing so I'm not going to do anything but we'll just let it do its thing and it's going to activate uh this user's uh, profile let's just make it uh there we go <clears throat> make it a little bit bigger that's good so it'll click on that I'll just move my mouse away there you go see how it clicked on it and then it found information one of the things and then it closes it so then what it does after that in within a certain amount of time it'll open up the next thing which is the group see how it goes to the group now this is the group that we asked one of the groups and um let's take the link out of there because so it goes to this group and then it'll scroll down and it'll find all the posts in the group so that's one of the things that it does and let's just give it a second and the reason why it's slow is actually let's go back here while it's working I want to show you under options right here the speed here see how it says 30 to 90 seconds between actions now the reason why is because Facebook is actually tracking your activities right so it's whenever you're clicking anything see how it opens up the next group page now whenever you're clicking anything in Facebook Facebook knows you're clicking so if you're going super fast like because you know this is a program it could go really really fast if you're going super fast Facebook is actually going to pick up on that and after a couple days maybe it takes about a week before they you know decide what they're going to do they see it going fast so so fast all the time it'll you know assume that you're using software and it'll block you right so you might get in Facebook jail or things like that so you don't want to do that but you know you can change it to these different speed if I go to faster right here it'll change the speed but it also tells me right here be careful to use fast speeds too fast is gonna cause problems so we're just gonna put it back to slow right here which is you know the default anyways and right now that doesn't affect the the current the current one that's running it's only for the next time whenever I start it again right now it's stay it's staying at that so now the next thing it does it goes to my messages to go and find uh to to record the messages I sent so that it can track uh contacts and things like that um 
so it'll load up your activity your messages and then your then the groups and then the posts and the content and everything else so right now we're just going to let it uh, go to the next so you can see what that is um, so let's give it a sec uh, I'll be back so there you go it's continuing to load other pages right so it's loading up your um, activity so that you know you see how I commented on all these posts it's going to actually you know track all that for you so that you can know how many times you've commented on this or that you see how it's scrolling down so it'll it'll scroll down there and once it's done it sends all that off and then it kind of categorizes it so you can see who supposed you've commented on and so you can track that right as you can see it's going back and forth between the two tabs I'm not doing that this is the extension that's going back and forth in a few more moments it'll load up the the the, the likes and replies as well so that you can track that too because you know the thing that happens is as people use as people use Facebook if you're commenting on their stuff and you're liking their stuff engaging you know reacting loving or whatever the reactions are they see that right they see that in their notifications they notice that you're <coughs> you're um, engaging on their stuff they appreciate that right you see how it went away the tab closed right that's because it saved those activities and sent them off to the to the back end and now it's now it's done the two activities so that's going to start to load the, the Facebook uh, the group posts and find who actually commented and engaged you see right here there's a no, little number it's blue uh, green that's it says zero right now because there's no it hasn't read any posts or anything yet it just read the, the page of the Facebook group <coughs> but it's it's you know it's taking it's using or reading in the list of posts and then it'll go to each of the posts in a second you'll see in a moment <coughs> so let's see uh what's next let's go and pause and come back oh there you go so like i was saying these are active uh, reactions now the likes and reactions you can see it's the same thing reacted 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 right so it's kind of scrolling through to go and grab those uh but yeah we'll pause that and come back when it gets to the posts all right so there you go so the reactions have been sent off and now we have a post so basically now it's going to be loading every single post that it found one after the other with like with the delay of the speed that it's going which is 30 to 90 seconds I think it was so it'll actually wait a certain amount between each um, page so what it's doing here is it's picking up the name of the commenters the people that commented on the post right and also the person who actually created the post who posted it right and so it's doing that one like I said one at a time you can see right here it's still zero once this page once this page closes this number will go up and you'll be able to see that as it goes. see now it says 10 right so 10 is because it found the number of comments that were on the post here's another post now and it's just going to do that you know and one after the other right and then <clears throat> once it's done it will um it'll save the scrape to the back end to the database to the server so we'll see, we'll show you that as well once it's over so there you go now as you can see obviously these posts are like you know scams not not necessarily scams but they're they're you know they're phishing uh posts about online bitcoins and whatever they have nothing to do with what I'm trying to talk to you about right so I mean this is just now it's at 20 so you know what we're going to do now we're going to actually stop the scraping so I can actually go back here and go to home and I can actually click this stop button right there or you can oh whoops wrong one or you can actually just close this whole tab right here and it should uh save things everything that it's been uh, that it's been working on so far um actually I'm not sure about the messenger I think the messages if you stop it early it does it kind of messes up that but that's not a big deal because it's not really important for me to show you right now what I want to show you is what happens with these um these uh the the results when when you see the results and what you can do with them right so let's go and stop it right now and it'll it'll close the tabs and everything else as you can see the other window is gone now can you see that yeah 
<laughs> okay so now that the scrape has completed if I close this you can just you can just click the icon again to close it and when I reopen it it'll come back and it'll tell me down the bottom here the how many scrapes it did right last scrape did 20 and from 20 people in two posts from one group right so obviously I stopped it pretty early normally you would have more posts more comments more people and everything else but now what you can do is you can click on view data so you click on the view data button that takes you to the um to the actual data that it's scraped so the other thing you'll notice too is right here it says 17 that's how many in uh comments and reactions were registered as part of the of the activities that were done in that in the day right so if I go to all contacts I don't think yeah that, I don't know if that'll work because I these are all it's my own Facebook so I'm not sure if it'll show up here that's an interesting uh concept here I don't know if I just click and sort by visited oh yes it does so they're all showing up here as people that I visited because I did comment on all these posts today in my own personal account but it's showing here as well because I you know I was still logged into Facebook anyway don't worry about it so the idea is that when you're taking activities on Facebook you're on Facebook right you're you're going through the feed you're going through the feed and you're commenting on people's stuff now the thing that um is this not loading yeah it's I think it's just it's just taking a while let's reload the page maybe my browser is kind of like there we go okay so you're on Facebook you're in the feed right it's still showing me her why is it showing oh there you go okay so you're on Facebook you're on the feed you're going through the feed here and you're commenting on things I mean you know do you really remember how many people you've commented on or post or come or you know which posts you've commented on as you look at the feed you won't remember you know maybe you'll remember the next week or two or something right you'll see oh yeah I've commented a lot on on Mindy's posts right and that's the thing but you don't necessarily remember after a couple of weeks maybe it'll be different posts but the thing is that in Facebook if you're only commenting on what's in the feed you're basically letting Facebook kind of decide what you're engaging on right you're you can't just use the feed to decide on what you're engaging on right you gotta have your you gotta take control right and one of the things that leaders tell you is go to groups they tell you go to your Facebook friends go to you know their birthdays do that every day go you know comment on people's birthday posts and things like that so there's all these different things you can do and I you know I've used other tools and stuff but the idea here is that with active group users you get a list like this right and then you can decide to go visit these now right now this is just this one script with 20 people right um so I'm just going to go back and show you what it looks like with my real account that I've been using for years right so let's just do that oh actually why not show you how it works so basically I'm going to come up here I'm going to go into log out and just reload now instead of waiting and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in as me so I can close this well it doesn't matter I leave it there I can log in here I'm going to log in as me which is well I think this works it's been a while since I've used the this way because I always I'm always logged in right so now it goes to my personal account right my own personal I can see that my profile picture is right there and it's going to show me the list of my contacts that I've been engaging with and commenting on their posts and the thing is that you can continue to just go through the feed right you can just go through the feed but like I said you're letting Facebook decide what you're engaging on what you're posting what you're commenting on right so if I use the tool here instead then what I can do here is I can choose all sorts of different things I can say I want to see everybody that I'm following I don't know if that's or I, I want to see everybody who's friends or not or who I've received friend requests from or I want to see their status right the people that are con that I contacted the ones that replied that replied back to me I want to see hot warm cold leads I want to see people that I have not visited in at least 10 days so let's just filter that I click on the filter button after I put the number 10 right here 
and now that's oops I think it didn't so then I then it's going to give me the list of the people that are in my in my contact list that I have not checked their profile out in at least 10 days or more right obviously and then the other thing that's really cool is you can actually have the you can sort the list by the the people that are the most active the ones that are commenting the most the ones that are posting the most in groups because right here these numbers that are here if I click on if you mouse over here I can see that that's the number of comments in the last 30 days that's the number of comments the previous 30 days number of posts again previous so if I click on this Facebook comment one here it'll show me the list of people starting with the one at the top that has the most comments that's commenting the most in groups so you know that this person is really active on Facebook now sometimes that's because they're you know scammers whatever so you could just ignore them and actually I'll show you how to do that you, once once you once you see that this is a person that you don't even want to go visit again right if I go look at this I have no clue but let's let's say Richard Cagle here I click on his name and I click on his name again this kind of loads up a summary shows me what his comments are I can click on this to see the comments so the key we should make it duplicatable from our team whoops that actually goes to the post so and you can see right here I've got she's just basically commented on this I don't know the same post I'm not sure what that is but so I can close this and I can go to his profile then I can just say okay well let's go check him out let's go see what Richard Cagle is all about so I can look through his posts I can see whether he's seems real or not whether he's just posting scam or not you know that kind of stuff and so I don't really have any clue right now sorry uh Richard if you're watching this <coughs> I don't mean anything by it but I'm just saying like if I look at a profile I'm like well that's not really my target market I can come in here I close the tab I can just put I can put a note if I want so I can say you know they're they're not my type or they're not my target market or whatever or I can just click the hide contact up here so now whenever if I choose to say don't show me the hidden posts the hidden profiles then I won't even see Richards in my list anymore right so that's kind of one thing you can do then whenever you visit you click on these to visit them one after the other and it'll track right here how many visits and how many posts and so you do like me I do like 20 or so a year but as you can see I've been doing now that I've now that the extension is actually recording the actual activity in the feed as well as this activity now I can see that I'm actually doing I it started I just started that like a week ago or so and uh, do, doing bug fixes whatever so it's not actually live yet but it will be soon but basically it tells me that I've been engaging on more than 20 people a day like 44 here 32 28 yesterday 29 the day before it kind of shows me that I've been act commenting on posts in the feed as well which you know we all kind of do and you should probably do that but that's kind of how you use it you click on these and you just access the, the Facebook and you just let it let it track for you so that then you know so let's say for example now now you're ready you've been using the extension for like a couple months and you're like okay now I want to see I want to actually contact these people instead of doing it without them knowing you now you can actually say I want to see all the people based on the number of visits that I did right here with the V that's the number of visits the number of times I went to see some of uh, one of their posts or their profile and it'll tell me the list of people that I've seen a lot more than others because it'll sort by that right so who is it who is it that I've seen the most and then you can decide to send the messages you go to those people and you send them messages and that's basically how that works right Stephanie Dr Lisa Delor these are all people that I've been engaging with a lot see how many visits right how many this one here's how many posts I reacted to how many comments I on their posts so you can see like really a lot of numbers and that's basically how you use the extension to just build your no like trust in your audience so that they know who you are and they like you because they've seen your stuff and if they don't like you that's fine they, they'll just not follow you right but that's how you use active group users and if you want like I said you can go to activegroupusers.com go to activegroupusers.com set up an account download the extension install it in your browser activate it put your group in and then start using it every day so that you can track your activities and get more and more you know people knowing who you are 
and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.